Well, we're back today with another tutorial in our Luminar 4 software, and today's all about portrait photography. This software has some incredible tools to take your portraits to the next level. Let's check it out. So that's right, today we are focusing on portrait photography in our Luminar 4 software. And it has some awesome tools to really easily, simply, without a massive amount of editing, really take your pictures to the next level. So we're gonna dive in and I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks and I'm also gonna kinda give you a bit of a review on what I think about this as a portrait editing software in general. I'm gonna give you my pros and my cons and if you don't already own this software and you think you might want to buy it now or at the end of this, check out the affiliate link in the description for you. I did work out a deal with the developers to save you a little bit of money. Let's dive in. So the first thing you're going to notice is that this program is fairly simple. It's intuitive and it looks like kind of like a combination between Photoshop and Lightroom. It's very easy to use and you can actually use it as a standalone program or a plugin in your Photoshop and Lightroom workflow. In this case, we're gonna look at the standalone program. And typically, I don't know about you, but my workflow is gonna include going from Lightroom to Photoshop and working with a lot of layers to get the end result. In this case, I'm just gonna move a few sliders and you're gonna see what's gonna happen. So here's our interface here. And like I said, you can use this as a standalone program or actually as a plugin in Lightroom or Photoshop. So at the bottom, we have some presets just basically a baseline to go off of, but let's let the AI choose for us. I'm gonna click on AI Image Enhancer and then use the slider for to let it basically choose a bunch of the settings for me. Now this is kind of like the equivalent of you hitting auto in Lightroom, but maybe just a little bit smarter, getting that baseline for you to start to work from there. And over here you can see that we have an Essentials panel and a bunch of options basically that we would see in Lightroom. And by moving that one AI slider, it's already made adjustments to light, color, and AI enhance. So now let's go into our portrait tab here and see what we can do as far as portrait settings go. First, we'll click on AI Skin Enhancer and let it basically detect and smooth the skin using Content Aware. It's only gonna focus on the things in the face and not the rest of the picture. So let's crank it up to see the maximum effect. And right off the bat, it really doesn't look that overdone. It actually looks pretty good. And we can click on AI Skin Defects Removal to make it go even further and get rid of just a few more things. There you go. Now you might have noticed that it took a second to render there. And there are good and bad with this program. One of the bad, unfortunately, is that at times it can be a little bit slow or even laggy. And that can be a bit frustrating. Sure, it's growing pains and there will be updates and more efficiency going into this program, but just be aware of that. So now with just one slider and one click, we've smoothed out the skin and it looks pretty good for me. And let's look at a quick before and after so you can see the differences of what we've done so far. Before and after. Pretty significant with just a couple sliders. Next, let's look at Portrait Enhancer. And here we've got some awesome tools to go ahead and just make some overall changes to just her face. We can light her face, remove red eye, whiten her eyes, and use something called Eye Enhancer. This one's really neat. Let's crank it up so you can see the full effect. And just like that, it looks like it's added some clarity, some vibrance, and just really makes that eye shine. We can remove some dark circles if there's any. In this case, there's not really any. We can slim the face with just a slider instead of going through and basically liquefying and distorting it. It actually does a pretty good job. We can also enlarge her eyes on the spot. And you don't wanna to go too overboard or it gets a little bit crazy. And like any image editor, I'd recommend not really going to 100% on anything. Try and keep it kind of in the middle, but really don't try and max it out on either side. So for me, although the subject is the eye in this picture, that's a bit big. So we're gonna take that down a bit and see what Eyebrow Improve does. And that looks pretty good. Adding some contrast, some darkness. And we also have some choices here with lips and teeth. Unfortunately, there's no teeth and the lips are quite vibrant already, so we're gonna leave that alone. So right off the bat with just a few sliders, 
here's the result before and after and that's quite dramatic and I don't know about you but that was done in about 30 seconds and in Photoshop and Lightroom that would have taken me a lot longer here's proof of that here's my workflow normally versus my workflow in this program for the sake of time I've sped up my Lightroom and Photoshop editing by 1000% So it's no secret that Photoshop is complicated. It's incredibly in-depth and you could probably spend hundreds if not thousands of hours learning it. Luminar 4 is great for simplifying things and really bringing efficiency to your work. I love how the simple controls are right at your fingertips, but if you did need or want to go more in-depth, that's an option as well. So was it really a surprise that it took me a fraction of the time to edit this picture in Luminar? Probably not. So editing the same picture twice is always going to give you different results. And here's what that looked like in the end. Here's a few more quick edits that I did with Luminar. So like everything that I do when I review something, I typically give you my personal pros and cons. So I thought I'd do that in this case with the Luminar 4 and specifically having to do with the portrait aspect. So here you go. Well, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Nice and short and sweet. And I hope you liked it. And if you did, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And like I said, if you want to pick up this software, if you're considering buying it, check out in the description. There is an affiliate link that'll take you to where you need to go and save you a bit of money. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you in the next one.